Hello friends and welcome to another Popper League. I am Cooper the Red and this is Hot Dogs. Uh, for quite some time this was one of the most powerful options available in Popper with the uh, the downgrade of Monastery Swift Spear. Um, since um, since Talarian Terror has entered the format, uh, we're seeing a lot more removal than we had before, along with, you know, like the Kiln Fiend decks. So, you know, you're, you're quite often going to be running into um, Snuff Out or into some kind of Verdict or Edict to make you sacrifice a creature. So with that in mind, we are playing a, uh, a copy of Underworld Rage Hound in the main along with two in the side, so we can have more creatures um, after boarding, so that uh, if the opponent is full of removal, we can start hitting them with these elemental dogs that will continuously come back from the graveyard. Um, we have some of the traditional things that you would generally find, expect to find in uh, this deck. We've got Manamorphos, um, just so you know, like have an extra spell uh, to feed into our Kiln Fiend or our Swiss Spear. We've got Teamer Battle Rage, uh, to give our creature double strike and trample, uh, reckless impulse to peel more cards off the top, uh, faithless looting. Again, this is a, a great way to um, get the kiln fiend to uh, to grow in size. To trade off cards in your hand that uh, aren't doing so well for cards that you know you need at the time, or you know being able to discard rage hound, lava dart. Those things seem pretty good as well. Now, the cards that I did just mention, they're actually not four ofs, um, which generally, you know, you'd expect to see four of TBR, four of Metamorphose, four of Reckless Impulse. Um, even Apostle's Blessing is only at a three of here. But, you know, you, you got to make room for all the other cards that you want to play. And that's one of the reasons why I was so interested in this list. It's got four copies of Lightning Bolt in the main. So I'm thinking that's really going to... Um, either help clear the way, clear the path, uh, get rid of pesky blockers, or, you know, just do um, unexpected burst damage to be able to close it out. I, I do kind of think, like, uh, a fire blast would be kind of nice in here somewhere, but um, maybe another time. And I guess with Lava Dart, uh, that's a lot of mountains to sacrifice. Uh, let's see here. Some interesting things about the sideboard. Uh, I like End the Festivities here. Uh, I've really been liking this card more and more as I've started playing it over Electricery. Not as good against the fairies, but we do have four copies of Pyroblast. And one of the most interesting things here is actually three copies of Flaring Pain. Um, and uh, as I was purchasing my uh, third Flaring Pain today, um, I was thinking about, you know, eh, do I really need a third copy of Flaring Pain? I usually get by fine with just two. But I think that because this deck in particular really focuses on burst damage, where one turn you're going to be using a large amount of resources to end the game, um, either uh, Moments Peace or Prismatic Strands could be absolutely devastating. Game ending. So... Went ahead and uh, got the third copy of Flaring Pain, so that hopefully, when we need it, we'll be able to find it. Alright, I think that uh, I'm about ready to play some magic. How about you? Hey there, why not Fire Blast? I was musing about the same thing, but we're playing four copies of Lava Dart? That's a lot of mountains to sacrifice already. Oh, we're playing against Ponza. Don't know if I dare cycle the Forgotten Cave. We might need it later. Oof. Yep, Ponza exists. Play the Forgotten Cave. Oh, this would be a different game if we had had the play.
Getting crushed by Ponza. That's what you all wanted to see, right? Gonna leave up Lightning Bolt here. Can blast a uh, boarding party. Oh, no. <laughs> they have two cards left. We got seven going up to eight cards in hand. So many resources. All right, I'm going to crash through here. Uh, we're going to need another land, so I'm going to go ahead and cantrip. Okay, not a boarding party at least. Oh, they have another thing? Oh my god, pillaged? Okay, we're dead. Oh, Swift Spear plus three makes it a four five, so it trades with the Hunter. Ugh. Do we even have anything we want to bring in here? Doesn't feel like it. Maybe Flame Slash? I think we want to keep the Lava Darts because they're going to have Arbor Elves. We want to keep the Mutagenic Gross, they're going to have Lightning Bolts. Too bad this couldn't target a land, huh? No, uh, no creature in this hand. We do have the double metamorphose. This hand is pretty good against Arbor Elf. Oh, I'm playing Arbor Elf. Yeah. Draw a creature. Let's go. Not that lucky. All right, no creatures yet. That was going to be a really big turn for them. If the Arbor Elf had survived. Damn. Well, that's what I get. For keeping a hand with no creatures. Not something you would generally want to do.
Oh my god, serious? Okay. I mean, we've had all the opportunities to to draw it. We we've hit a lot of draw cards. There's one. Lands for days, chat. Lands for days. How much damage is this? I don't think it's lethal. Um, so that's three. They go to 16. This is now at two. Plus three. To five. To six. Which is 12. Now at 16. And then we can do another two, which is another four. So I think this is lethal. Okay, so how many spells is this? Four, five spells. So that goes to six, seven, eight, 16. Lightning Bolt puts them to 16. So it is lethal, but we don't have a target for the Flame Slash. So we'd have to flame slash our own creature, which would mean if they have lightning bolt, we're kind of hosed. Weather the friggin' storm. Okay. Oh no, they have another weather the storm. Oh my god. That's a lot of storm to be weathered. I'll take 14. It was a pretty good weather the storm. And cannonade to clean up my creature. We both have one card in hand. Fortunately, I draw a swift spear. So let's get back on board and start swinging. Oh, they just pass back with two cards in hand. We draw a mutagenic growth. I'll attack for one pass back. Oh, a boarding party. Into Tharmokarst. 
destroys one of my lands. And swings in for six. We're going to have to take that out with a Flame Slash. Or a Lightning Bolt. I think oh, that's kind of tricky because the Lightning Bolt doesn't kill um, Avenging Hunter. Uh, play line I took is way worse against second boarding party. Oh, rough start. Crash through. Flame Slash. Almost got them back down to 20. I'm going to save my creature here at the cost of two life in a card. Try to anyway. Oh, the last card is a lightning bolt. Okay, that kills it. Oh, we find Festival Crasher. Play that pass turn. Opponent has on, is on no cards. Of course, uh, some of their top decks are very, very good. They got f they have uh, five and six mana spells, and I mean this one's pretty good in itself too. They can block. It kills Festival Crasher. Looking for a uh, Lightning Bolt or another Flame Slash here. Find a Mountain instead. Uh, going to one. Now it has Trample. Okay, Reckless Impulse. Good pull. Into Mountain Festival Crasher. No, still not really doing anything here.
All right, let's uh, head out of here. This was abysmal. No land hand, easy mulligan. And this is a keep. Show them my burn mountain and my swift spear. Zolt with the prime sub. Thank you so much. Always glad to see this deck. You're the reason I bought it in paper. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for the sub. Thank you for the support and enjoy those emotes. I made them myself. And just like that, we're on the way to a hype train. Okay, here's an Epicure. So this is leading me to believe that uh, they're playing the um, Koldotha burn deck. Oops. You bought Ponza. Every play group needs a villain. If you ever played the game Ferret, it's a text based game from 1982. Uh, that's a little bit before my time, friend, but only a little. No, I've actually never played that. I see we've come across one of those um, slow burn players that I hear about. Where, you know, they it's a burn player, so you figure they're going to play quick, but they use all the time on their clock without fear, because a burn player is never going to time out. What? It was just completed like a month ago? Only 40 years in development? Damn. That's even longer than the new Silent Hill. Alright, well I'm going to have to take a look for that. Ferret. Text-based game. I do. I do have a Discord. I don't do very much with it, but it exists. Sweet. Thanks. Appreciated. All right, so they got something here. Is there a reason why I don't block with Crasher? Let me take a look at what they have. They take forever with their turns. I'm not going to worry about taking forever with mine. I just played uh, Kodoltha Burn. That's not the one. This one. They could have Galvanic Blast. They could have Lava Dart. So yeah, there's a lot of reasons not to block. And it also just sets me up for a good attack coming up. What? You were supposed to block! You were supposed to block my Epicure with your Crasher! Galvanic Blast, yep. That's what they had. Bye-bye, Swift Spear. Okay. 
I'm thinking play Swift Spear, bolt their Swift Spear, attack for some damage. Take five. And I don't mean take a break. All right, Chain Lightning takes down the Festival Crasher. I actually had a pretty hard time playing against Hut dogs when I was um playing Kadolta Burn. But you know, really comes down to your draws. Play another festival crasher. I've just been waiting for a chance to play this reckless impulse. Feel like the moment hasn't arrived. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, okay. And a dart, yeah. Ah, oh, that. There's a mutagenic and no lands. Uh just not very lucky for these uh, these first games. Let's see, maybe my luck will change later. Okay. Might be worth it to lava dart one of their creatures here. Or, yeah, just drawing a land off to the top would be friggin' great. Didn't know that I had a Discord. You're on it now? Fantastic. Like I said, I don't do very much with it, but, um, you know, I check back to see if anybody's putting some stuff up there. I had bigger plans when I had originally designed it, but um, it's a lot of work, you know? And I can only really uh, focus on so many things. So 
So if their last card is Fire Blast, I'm dead. This puts me to four. And then if I use Mutagenic, I'm also dead to Lightning Bolt, if they have that in hand. Oh, they have the Fire Blast. Okay. I'm bringing the two and the festivities. Hmm. I think I might take out the Reckless Impulse and maybe an Apostle's Blessing. I don't feel like we have a lot of time to be spending to draw cards. Uh, I kind of feel like the opponent is looking to kill us very quickly. Uh, and then switching out an Apostle's Blessing with a Rage Hound, have an extra creature. Uh, yeah, keep this. Hand looks great. I love the mutagenic growth draw here. All right, we're going to take some damage this turn. We get to keep our creatures. Find a lightning bolt. I'll go red, red with Metamorphose. Always red, red. Ah, crash through. Interesting. That's pretty great, actually. We can crash through in lightning bolt instead of playing the second crasher. Ooh, and a mountain. Crash through. Forgotten cave. Okay. Opponent's seen enough there. I think we actually put them to one, technically. So what was that? Turn three? Yep, turn three. Uh, I'm not interested in this one, to be honest. One land hand, the one land is forgotten cave. I'm not super interested in this one either, but we're going to keep it. We've got our creature. We've got some protection for it. It was lethal? Okay, what did I miss? I thought it was uh, 9 plus 5 for 14, and they were at 15. Did something not finish resolving yet?
Okay, there's Searing Blaze. And no creature for us. Creature on top. All right. Hey, Jaxman. Pretty much a standard version. I uh, got this version from uh, Goldfish um, Live. Uh, played it to a trophy finish recently. I'm going to kill the Swiss Spear on my turn so we can get the extra damage with a Crasher. Oh no. Ah. Well, I guess if we had cast the lightning bolt, we would have got got. And then we draw Apostle's Blessing. Deck is trolling us hard. This can be a really frustrating deck to play sometimes. Like when it's hot, it is so hot. As you saw last game where you can just win turn three. Um, when it's cold, it just really doesn't feel very good. Because you're, you're not really able to do anything. You're not able to progress. Cycle the Forgotten Cave, find Crash Through, Cycle the Crash Through. Find Kiln Fiend, okay. I don't actually want to play the Kiln Fiend this turn, though. We have Apostle's Blessing in hand, so I don't really want to play Kiln Fiend and not be able to protect it when I have a card that protects it. Oh, I really wish these two cards had been reversed. That would have been so much better. It was so ready. It was so ready to concede there. <laughs> when they tap the man, it's like, oh, here comes lightning bolt. They they kill my kiln fiend. Game over, man. Game over, man. Five life. They have a Kessig Flame Breather. Almost any spell is just absolute death here. Need some Manamorphose. 
Oh, what? Why is this so small? The sigh. Well, it looks like we're heading into an O2. Oh, no attacks. I mean, this thing has to attack. So they're just going to get a free attack next turn. All right, so basically any spell from the opponent, and we're dead. That does it. Oh, no, wait, that puts us to one. That puts us to one. But they can discard the land in their hand with a blood token. Not dead yet. Oh, okay. Nice little roll. Why drop at 03? I just feel like it's not worth it to continue as, as far as time value goes. Um... We have to win two in a row from 03 to get $5. I would rather just scrub the league because odds are we're not going to get it anyway. So it just feels like a waste of time to me. And my time is uh, important. It's, you know, my most important resource. So, uh, yeah, if I 03, I just decide it's not worth it to continue and start over. But, you know, it really depends on what you're getting out of uh, the game. Um, if you are just, you know, like looking to play competitive magic and that's what you're here for, then absolutely, you know, it's great. Play out your leagues, do whatever you want. Uh, but for me personally, I would rather start another one. I mean, sure, but uh, if I drop the league and start another league, I'm still practicing, I'm still playing. But then I have the opportunity to potentially uh, make more money. One of the things that is actually rather important to me as far as uh, magic goes is, is the competitiveness of it. I want to play for prizes. Magic, just for the sake of it, doesn't have the same allure to me. $10. $10. to start a league. Hey, friend, Reem Luva, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you for the support, and enjoy those emotes. I made them myself. That's what Commander is for, I guess. Ooh, Festival Crasher. But then we lose out on Lightning Bolt. We haven't shown them that we're hot dogs yet. They might suspect, but so far it just looks like burn with reckless impulse. Sure. 
we can get that out of the way no problem. But first, cycle Forgotten Cave. Find a mountain. And another Crasher. Alright. I forgot. Alright, how much damage is this total? Four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's not lethal yet. Four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two caves. And 18 lands. That's a pretty good card. You get a block out of that. What do we get? Crash through. Okay, your block is not as good as it used to be. Yeah, it feels like GG to me. Okay. So let's see here, we're playing against Orzov. We're gonna want double Rage Hound. I think that's probably all we want though. Oh, we probably want Flaring Pain. Let me take a look at my list, which is probably gonna be different from their list. Uh, what did I call it? It was Orzov Midrange, right? Orzov Pest Creatures. Three strands in the sideboard. This version doesn't have any strands, which feels like an oversight. This one was running three. This one's running two. So good odds that they do have um, prismatic strands. So let's bring in Flaring Pain. And I think we can take out some number of Muta because their uh, their damage is going to be, or sorry, their removal is going to be like sacrifice based or target based. They're not going to have too much damage based removal like lightning bolts. See white or green bring in flaring pain. Yeah, that's that's probably a good idea most of the time. Let's bring out a TBR as well. Single land hand on the draw with crash through. The hand is very good if we draw land. I'm going to risk it. Was the opponent only Orzov? That's all we saw. Okay, let's crash through as a cantrip here. Try and draw that land. We get it. Nice. Okay, they kill our critter. Uh, kind of want a reckless impulse here, try and find land. 
Ah, oh, shit, we don't find land. Deck was like, I gave you one land. You want more? Greedy, greedy. Ouch. All right, let's get this Rage Hound out. Okay, Flaring Pain, still no land though. If you weren't sure if you kept them, it's like the best white card. Prismatic Strands is... It's in competition with Ephemerate for the best white card in Pauper. Yeah, I just have to cast the Metamorphose and I'll find a land. Stonehorn. Ugh. Stonehorn Dignitary is the worst. Hate that card so much. Just the most frustrating thing to play against. It uh, takes away combat. Or uh, Basilica returns the um, the gain land, so they can gain another one life. Yeah, it makes opponents skip their combat step. Yeah. Is there a block here? All right, we're going to Mutagenic the Growth, the one they don't block. Get some extra damage in and still kill their creature. And preserve both of ours. Oh, there's a Journey. I... I just don't want to... I want to cast my Metamorphose when I have creatures out. Like, Metamorphose into Team, team of Battle Rage. Uh, I'm just being, you know, like, greedy with it. I want to get more out of it. Suru, hello. I'm doing all right. How you doing? Or Skyfisher. Do you return Journey to Nowhere here with this to get rid of the Kiln Fiend? No, return Spare Supplies to draw another card. Start going to the gym, feel like your whole body is broken. Ah, just give it a few months. You're breaking your body into a better form. Wrong accent on how you doing? Ah, uh, sorry, it's been a while since I've seen friends.
mountain. All right, let's get started. Nice draw. Swift Spear. I'm thinking it's probably better to Apostle's Blessing the Kiln Fiend uh, pro white, and then we just get in for mad amounts of damage. I uh, do believe so. All right. Jay says GG's. Keep this hand. Opinion on Mono Red Koldotha, very strong deck. Innocent Blood, thank you, Handsome. Ghastly Demise, another one. No, I think after we used Mutagenic Growth, we were fine. Because I think the only thing they would have potentially had would have been Disfigure, maybe. And I think that that deck is more likely to run um, Deadweight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, we got mutagenic growth to keep the kiln fiend alive. Let's play it. The Kuyara, hey -o. Snuff out is free, yep. Again, I didn't expect them to have Snuff Out, which is why I went for for that, but uh, they could have. Uh, one, two, three. Galv Blast kills the Kiln Fiend. Doesn't matter, we have Muta. Uh, they, they wouldn't have had Ghastly Demise. Yeah, it's just like based on the deck they were playing. Um, the removal is going to be Cast Down, Journey to Nowhere, um, some Edict, and then maybe uh, Dead Weight or Disfigure. Wow. Fire Blast. That, that costs a lot, that Fire Blast. We're going to counter it. <laughs> Meta Knowledge. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I have been playing the format for a little while now. It definitely helps a lot. A lot. Oh, the Lava Dart. Now they have one card left in hand, but they got a pretty good force on the ground here.
I'm gonna kill the Swift Spear. Uh, they do have Lava Dart, so if they go um, Bushwhacker here, if we block, we lose our Crasher. Meta Knowledge is it separates the kids from the grown-ups. Ooh, Lightning Bolt. So many removals. Why did I have such a hard time versus Hot Dogs when I was playing Koldotha? It's bullshit. Alright, Kiln Fiend, no protection. Can't block anything. Ugh, brutal. I'm not even going to redirect this because then they get to redirect it again. Mm, see, that's it. No protection. Everything just doesn't go very well. <sighs> Should have used the crash through. Yeah, and they have the, uh, yeah, this is game over. Hmm. Sure feels like it. Felt the other way when I was playing Burn. Oh, uh, it's a mulligan. This is a keep. Maybe. I, I was thinking that um, I, I just wanted things to go fast, but yeah, I guess if they're just killing everything, maybe I take out the loot and keep the impulse. My, my thinking was that I wasn't going to have enough time. Yeah, stream delay. I'm wondering if that's, like, due to um, the distance that a lot of people view from. Have a lot of um, international viewers, you could say. Probably better to just play the Festival Crasher next turn so that I have Apostle's Blessing to protect it. If I play the Festival Crasher now, it's probably just going to get, like, Searing Blazed. Ah, okay, you found your mobile chat was bad? You're in Brazil and it's good, I guess? I mean, Brazil, we're in the same time zone. More or less. Hey, Shauna, what's good? Doing data science and it seems to work. You're ecstatic. Sweet. Another crasher. 
All right, I guess we'll swing in for one, play the second Crasher. Uh, yeah, that Chain Lightning is going to work. And they have two mana, so I definitely do not want to redirect the Chain Lightning. They would kill both of my Crashers. Brutal. Moto is trying really hard to tilt me today. All right, so we need to uh, end the festivities off the top here. They even had reveal another Kadoltha. So we need end the festivities right now. That's a loss. I'm not keeping this. One land. If we don't draw the second land, we're, we're, we just die. This is a keeper. Hey, stream team, what's good? Mountain again. Is this another Kadoltha burn deck? I'm getting pretty tired of it. I'm getting pretty tired of this matchup. This is the first league, yep. And the way this one's been going, I don't know if I want to play a second with this deck. Just been getting crushed absolutely obliterated by these Kodotha decks deck is missing right of flame it is I uh, took this list off of um, MTG goldfish this is lives list live BR I think Wow. Two turns does nothing with their mountains. <sighs> All right, F6 at this point. Oh, okay, this is a hot dog's mirror. Okay. Definitely feel a little bit better about that than playing another Kodolfa deck. Now well, somebody wants to get banned. And lifetime ban. Okay, we got the win on the first match. Uh, let's bring in two copies of Flame Slash. Uh, I think that's all we bring in. What do we take out? Faithless? Lava Dart? How on earth does one get banned for life with only one message? It's easy. What was it? Um, does anyone remember uh, 
it happened more than once when I was playing Burn. Um, people would come in with the meanest, just like vile messages. Like cut TBR. I mean, it plays around their lightning bolts. That's about it. Don't need so hard to combo. Uh, because screw burn players, yeah. There, it's it's something polarizing. Like th there are magic decks. There are so many magic decks that um, somebody is going to take uh, issue with whatever deck, right? Like for me, I really don't like Tron. Um, just uh, don't like it. So I don't play it. When I run up against it, I'm like, ew, Tron. Some people, it's even more intense. So when people, you know, like come onto the stream and see I'm playing Burn, um, they put out like some vitriol, some hate in chat, and then they just get a lifetime ban. Although that wasn't what happened in this case. This was uh, a bot asking if I wanted to become famous. And I was like, get out of town. Oh, really? Like the dog as well. <laughs> Spam offensive things to Tron players. I'm not that kind of person. I let whatever be, you know, like they want to play that deck. That's fine. I'm not going to tell people what to do with their time. Except for, you know, like watch my stream and my YouTube content. Definitely do that with your time. Hey, sada, sada, exactly. What will be, will be. Oh, I guess we got like I got I got the flame slash. I want I want to keep this actually. Get rid of the lava dart since we only have one mountain. Go from a four mountain hand to a one mountain hand. Why are burn players the way they are? Somebody hurt us early in life. Ouch. All right, let's flame slash. Kill this even through Muta. When someone pays me enough, 100 bucks, I'll play Tron. You can even choose the Tron list. What a deal. Sale of the Century. What about Familiars? I did that once. I played Familiars once. Uh, timed out, I think, three out of five matches. <laughs> hey, that price is only for Tron. Anything else would be far more reasonable. A Reckless Impulse, which means they're not going combo this turn. Find Mountain Metamorphose. Oh, that's a good find. Uh, how many red decks we play this league? Four? Yes. I'm pretty sure it was four. I think it was three Kodotha Burn decks, Hut Dogs, and Orzov. But I could be wrong. Sometimes I miss things. Oh, the Lava Dart. We're going to be able to counter that. 
I think that um, the popper meta has been super interesting. There's been a lot of movement. Um, nothing has been static for too long for quite some time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I like where the, uh, the meta has been lately. I mean, we, we have had to deal with a lot of, uh, old Dotha decks, which is a pain, but that's variance again, right? Um, play another league, we might see zero Kodotha decks. Uh, yep, take seven. We're going to do some big damage this turn. Ooh, Lava Dart. Uh, I think this is lethal. All right, so if is Swift Spear more damage than Lightning Bolt? No. So we go Lightning Bolt them, put them to 13. Then Lava Dart, Lava Dart puts them to 11. There's no way this can't be lethal. It's got to be. Okay, managed to get half of our play points back. Okay, so this is the deck we were playing today. Hot Dogs, although it wasn't feeling too hot the way I was playing it. Um, but I, I, to be honest, I really wasn't surprised. There's a reason why the meta share for the Kiln Fiend decks has dropped steeply. There's so much removal. Um, the blue decks, you know, like have all the hydros. Uh, tons of snuff out, tons of sacrifice effects running around. You know, everybody has to have something to deal with. Gurmag Angler and uh, Telerian Terror. And, you know, we're kind of caught in the crossfire here. So, while I didn't expect to, you know, like, do incredible or anything, I, I, I was definitely frustrated. Um, some of you might have seen the frustration through the league. Um... So if you thought, hey, Cooper never tilts, maybe you saw it today. Still, um, I, I don't know, like, what, what is missing. If the deck, you know, like, needs another card, I'm not sure about that. Like, it seems like it has all the tools it needs. I think it's just that the meta is in a poor place right now. So maybe, you know, like, just put your, your Kiln Fiends... Uh, put your Festival Crashers to the side for now. And, you know, maybe the, the meta will shift again and uh, the Hut Dogs will once again rise from the ashes like a, like a great phoenix. Um, but until that time, I think that I am going to be putting this deck down. Um, if this is your jam, you know, like, don't let me stop you. Absolutely play it. Just, you know, be aware that uh, there could be some frustrating games in your future. Um... Definitely like the Flame Slash out of the sideboard, the four Pyros, like to the Underworld Rage Hounds. I think the Flaring Pains are important. So yeah, I think the configuration of the deck is fine. It's just a hostile meta.